Step one is to lay down all of your clips. Then you're gonna click on this second clip right here. And then you're gonna apply a fade out animation to it. So you're gonna click on animation, out, fade out, and set that to 0.3 seconds. Then you're gonna do this for every subsequent clip. So we're gonna do the same thing, fade out. Okay, now that you have that done, next is to add a simple white background. So to do that, you're gonna go, make sure you're in your media section right here, go under library, and it's usually under trending right here. You're just looking for a plain white background. Drag that down into your timeline. All right, and you're gonna start this on the second clip, right? So you're gonna drag it over and make sure that it runs the entire distance of that clip. So let me zoom in a little bit right here so we can get a better look. First thing we're gonna do is under blend, we're gonna set it to overlay. And then we're gonna set an animation, a fade out animation that's gonna last the entire duration of that clip. So depending on how long it is, okay, you just wanna make sure that you drag it all the way so that the fade out happens for the entire duration. And then we're simply going to copy that clip and put it over each one of those video clips just like this. Okay, and if you're wondering how I'm doing this, instead of copying and pasting, all I'm doing is I'm holding down on the Alt or the Option button on my Mac keyboard while I click. So it's Option, click, and drag, and it automatically copies and pastes for me. So again, if it's a longer clip, you wanna make sure that that fade lasts the entire duration. All right. So this is what it looks like so far. Okay, now we're gonna add some effects. So click on the effect tab, and we're gonna look for Halo Blur. Halo Blur, now you might not be able to find it because CapCut is just weird in this way with their search functionality. They just a little bit sloppy with some of their features right here. As you can see, there's like what, one, two, three, four, four different blurs two different Halo 2s and then a different Halo 2. So these are some things that CapCut needs to clean up. And also Halo Blur, as you can see, when you search for it, it doesn't come up here. I don't see it here. So if you don't see it, you have to click on Video Effects here, go to Opening and Closing, and then if you scroll down, you'll see it right here. All right, so CapCut, if you're watching this, uh, can you fix your search functionality here so that it makes it easier to go in and find what we want and so that we're not wasting so much time browsing and looking for effects. All right, enough of my rant. Halo Blur, we're gonna drag that down. Same thing, it's gonna go above each one of those clips just like we did with the white background. It's gonna run the entire length. Okay, we're gonna click on that and we're gonna set the details. Strength is gonna be 30 and speed is gonna be 100, all right? And we're gonna simply copy that effect over each one of the clips one more time. All right, and there you have it. So let's see what the clip looks like. Okay, there you have it. Now, if you made it this far in the video, congratulations. I'm gonna show you some additional edits that I made to take this video up another notch. So I'm gonna start off by first saying that Picking and cutting the actual clips themselves is very important. Depending on the type of video you are making, generally you want to pick only the highlights. And these are like the most exciting action-packed shots, uh, hero shots. That's very important first because if you choose bad clips, it doesn't matter how well your edit is. Your final video is not going to be that good. Always start with good clips. 
All right, next is lining up the cuts. Okay, this is gonna be huge because you know, I always say in my videos that audio is one of the most important aspects of a good video. So lining up the cuts in sync to the beat of the music, that's really important. A trick that I like to use is markers. Okay, and the shortcut for marker is M. So basically, I'll just listen to the music and I'll hit M to the beat. All right, so I'll do it along with you guys. I'm gonna press play. All right, so as you can see, every time I pressed on M, it dropped the marker. And so this helps me identify where the beats are and that's where um, I'll put the clips. So one thing that I've learned is that my finger is usually about three frames too late. As you can see, I dropped the marker right here, but the actual beat was here, right? Same thing, I dropped the marker here. I'm about three frames late same thing here so if i know this the next time i could use this strategy and sometimes i'm a little bit later but um i can just look where my marker is and then go back three or four frames and i'll, I'll find my beat you also don't have to put a cut at every beat sometimes you can skip a beat so in this case right here you can see that this is a longer clip so i basically skipped this beat right here all right and the same thing at the end i skipped all these rest of the beats okay so break it up too you don't want to do a repetitive thing for the entire duration of the video because then it becomes predictable and it's not as enjoyable to the viewer okay third create even more emotion so how do we do that how do we create even more emotion and so in this case we're going to be adding some sound effects that are going to take it up a notch all right so i already have some loaded right here the first thing i'm going to add it is a nice riser all right which is this right here all right so i'll let that i'll probably cut it out right here and i'll delete the back half there you go and i'm just going to go ahead and fade it out for about a second all right now next is there's this part right here where wonder woman uh blocks this projectile with her shield so i'm going to add uh, a deep impact all right a, a thud right here to emphasize that and so i've located with this uh, playhead where that moment happens and so this is where i'm going to add the thud okay now another trick is layering your sound effects so for this riser right here i'm gonna add a, a stuttering riser right so there's two risers going on at the same time so let's put it here first and let's see how it all fits together all right so i think the stuttering here is a little overwhelming so i'm gonna bring that down a little bit maybe about 10 decibel points And there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.